All right, welcome back to Living Dayton. On this Wednesday afternoon, it's looking gorgeous out. Let's talk some serious stuff here. Cholesterol can be both your friend and your enemy. Now, the key is learning how to balance it. Well, it may seem easy, but many people do struggle with high cholesterol. Well, luckily, Dr. Rob is in the house today. He's going to help diffuse that ticking time bomb. Yes, and you know, the thing is, is that some people don't even know that they have a ticking time bomb in their blood. Can I ask you why you call it a ticking time bomb? Because they don't get the right test to know what their lipid profile, what their cholesterol profile yeah. is like in their blood. That's one of the problems and why many people suffer heart attacks and strokes is they don't get the right test done in the first place. So they don't know if they actually have a cholesterol problem. The basic test that a lot of doctors run is a calculated cholesterol test. Right. And that doesn't tell us what the cholesterol actually actually looks like in the blood. So that's what you have here? Yeah, we have okay. two different models here. This is actually a healthy cholesterol profile where we have a lot of different types of cholesterols. Now, right here we actually have two of the cleaners, the good HDL, and they come in two different sizes, a small and a large. Yep. Then we have the red blood cells that are in there, mm -hmm. okay? And then we have the LDL, which there's two kinds. There's a pattern A and a pattern B. Okay. Now, they're both not good, but the pattern B stands yeah. for bad. And okay. if you've got the bad cholesterol, yeah. watch out. Yeah, and then you've got good. problems. So there's very specific tests that we can do to let you know what your lipoprotein profile is. And when Dominica brings up that slide for us, we can talk about those tests. There you go. We've got the NMR lipid profile with IR score, mm -hmm. which is a personal test. It lets you know exactly what your lipoprotein profile yeah. is like. Okay. Then we can also do something called an LPPLA2, okay. which lets us know if, the, if there's inflammation in the heart arteries, and then something called the LP little a, which we call the heart attack cholesterol. Because if you have this, yeah. you have a genetic predisposition, and you'll need special medicines to bring that down, and your chance of having a heart attack is really very high. And unless you do these specific kinds of tests yeah. in the NMR lipid profile, yeah. you're not going to know if you're at risk or not. So how so do we the, do the test? The problem is, is that you could have this underlying cardiometabolic event that you don't even know about because your doctor didn't do the right test. Well, that's the time bomb right there. That's the time bomb ticking, right? Yep. So what can we do? Right. We all know about TLC, you know, tender loving care. Well, yeah. We're talking about therapeutic lifestyle changes. First thing, man, we don't want to smoke. Everybody get rid of the cigarettes. It's the worst thing that you do. If you smoke and you have bad cholesterol, mm -hmm. you're going to end up in the Miami Valley Neuro ICU seeing these great men and women who are cooking for us today. Because yeah. you're going to have a stroke. Yeah. So stop smoking. It's the most important thing that you can do to protect your health. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get plenty of exercise. Got to yep. get out there and exercise helps with the cholesterol. A Mediterranean or paleo type, type diet. Yeah will help with the cholesterol profiles as, as well. Yeah. Okay? And then certain supplementation. We know that omega-3s are very powerful anti-inflammatories. Right. Omega-3s and 7 decrease the inflammation in the blood. Then we have CoQ10, which helps power up the heart. Niacin, which is good at lowering the bad cholesterol and bringing up the good cholesterol. Right. Vitamin D. Arginine, which helps release nitric oxide into the bloodstream to power up that heart. And then all kinds of other cellular energizing components that we use to help bring that cholesterol down. This is exactly what you want to do to diffuse that ticking time bulb. Dr. Rob's helping you do it. Of course, you can always find him at alphamaleinstitute.com. We appreciate you coming on and helping everyone's cholesterol out there at home. Good to be here as always. Thanks, man. All right, now, Vanessa.